position that I saved from the scrapyard. This here fine machine is a 1940-something, maybe early 50s, not really sure. All that I know that it's called a Mighty Cat Crawler Dozer Tractor Machine. It's configured as a bulldozer, so I'm just going to call it a really small bulldozer. Like I said, it was destined for the scrap pile, so I got it for a bargain. And uh, it's just... <laughs> It's just really cool. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. Why, why would you throw that out? It obviously pushes things with that. It's very small, and it is very, very heavy. And my mission right now is to somehow get it in the shop. I've asked it multiple times, but it still has not done anything. Let's first have a look at it, and then, somehow or another, I'm gonna try and get this in there. Let's do something. This unit has a uh, four-cylinder uh, Hercules engine in it. Got a uh, clutch feeding this gearbox controlled by that, and I'm assuming there's more gearbox, maybe a planetary or two. It's got rear controls. You kind of sit, uh, you sit back here, your feet go somewhere in there. Rear drive, tensioner in between. It's like kind of portal gearboxes down to this axle. Some gnarly looking tracks. Single hydraulic ram that looks to me like it only lifts. Let's check out this uh, Mighty Cat Tractor Motor number Oh, look at that 56 I would say that's probably 1956 Manufactured In Medford, Massachusetts So it's a local cat this plaque right here says aluminum. Well, it used to say something. We got the basic necessities. We got, I would say that's probably, is that oil pressure? And that's temperature. Got a key to start it. Got that. Might be RPM. Got a hydraulic tank. We got a gas tank, coolant, exhaust. This is probably air filtration. Got this little baby updraft carburetor. There's the hydraulic pump. There's the governor. Distributor. Just cool. Big old radiator. All right, enough talk. I think, I think what needs to happen here is, I'd love to get the blade off, but I don't, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'll give it a shot. I'd say those are probably in there pretty good. So somehow or another, I'm gonna try and move this. It's probably not going to go well at all.
look at that, the track turns. I was counting on that not turning. Well, that's just amazing. Let's, let's let them see the other one that way. You're genius. It's not accomplishing the mission, but we're already improving it. See if this one will go. Look at it go. It's it's just about driving already. Now turned a small bulldozer into a a sled. Well, if you want to move an old rusty piece of crap, you're gonna need another rusty old piece of crap that works. So nothing better for the job than across the old garden tractor, right?
here's version two. Big strap attached to most likely not movable lift attached to concrete. More straps, chain fall, small chain to big chain to bulldozer outside. if that chain starts moving then that means it's moving and I can stay warm. Maybe it just needed to get broken free. I'm gonna go back to the tractor because that's a lot easier. Chuck the belt. Let's just put it back on.
that's how you move the world's smallest bulldozer by hand. <clears throat> well, that was difficult, but I got it done. I used uh, one human, one garden tractor, one jack, four jack stands, two cement blocks, two pieces of wood, chain, a chain fall, uh, some nylon outdated uh, lifting straps, and a whole bunch of will and determination. True story, will and determination will get you far in life. Don't let anything stop you. Even if it seems stupid, just do it until you prove it to yourself that it is stupid. So, now that this is inside of here, I'm gonna let it defrost, and uh, we're just gonna try and start getting things to come off that don't need to be here, and get down to the, the meat of the machine, and uh, see if we can have this thing pushing dirt by spring. So if you're interested in this project, then go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll know when I've posted a new Mighty Cat video. Be sure to spell Mighty Cat, M-I-T-Y-K-A-T, because that's how people in Massachusetts spelled back then. So, have a great night. I'm gonna go home and have a nice cup of tea and rest my back. And uh, we'll be posting some videos about the Saab uh, paint job this week, working on some stuff and it's gonna be moving forward and we're gonna be uh, seeing some major movement in the forward direction on the Saab project. So, have a good night.